Okay, listen up. This is your captain speaking. And boy, do I have a show for you. Because we've scoured the world from sea to sky in search of some sleek new toys to check out. Coming up, we dive into water toy action with this super-powered drag boat. Reaching upwards of 100 miles per hour in just six seconds, there's only three of these bad boys in existence. And I climb aboard. I started to get used to the wind in my eyes and the wind in my hair and the speeds we were going and simply just sit back and enjoy every second. By the end, I think I had my hands up in the air. We were cruising on by and you could just see the simple enjoyment that this drag boat gave not only myself but also Bill. And we both just sat there with a massive smile on our face, as I said, enjoying every second of it. Bill, I am absolutely rattled. That drag boat absolutely hollers. <laughs> <laughs> so glad you like it. I'm flattered someone like you with your background is actually pleased to have been on it. Oh my God, what sort of speeds did we get up to? I think we saw 100 miles an hour. Yeah, we did. Yeah, On water too, which feels like you're going double the pace, right? It certainly does. And yet, it was, we glided. Even when we hit those few bumps that we created ourselves, we still seem to just cruise over them. Oh yeah, we just glided right across the top of them. It's a tunnel bottom boat, so it's got air assistance underneath it. This boat in particular, did you build from scratch? Yes, we stripped it down to the Bear Hall, 1979 Placecraft Tunnel Hall. This is one of only three made. It is actually the first placecraft to ever have a serial number. Oh my God. The hull was in shambles. The floors were all scratched up. It had chunks bitten out of it. It looked like a family of raccoons had scratched it all up. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely not what it looks like anymore. So kudos to you. Thank you so much. How long did it take to recreate it from the hull into what it is now? It was a three year restoration. Okay. So we started with what it began. And then over that time, what else did you do? We pulled the motor out. We actually, we had a separate motor and we had it built to our specifications. Incredible specs. It's got Jessel shaft mount roller rockers. Shaft mount roller rockers keep the valve train all in line. It's got manly H-beam rods, aluminum heads, and it's also got in canal valves. A special material that doesn't crack under heat. It's got a Holley's Dominator single carburetor, 1050. We did the jet pump over again with a stuffer and inducer, high helix impeller. We also dyno tuned the motor and matched the impeller to the RPM and power band of the motor. What the impeller is, is it's a jet boat, so instead of a propeller, it has an impeller. Oh, wow. Yes, it actually sucks water in from the bottom and thrusts it out the back, and that's what propels us <laughs> to such high speeds. <laughs> My God, and that smile that you just showed me was the exact smile that I saw on your face as we were cruising around today. Oh, I'm just in heaven whenever on that boat. <laughs> now, you are a professional Drag, drag boat racer. Boat racer. So have you raced this one? Yes. We just won our last race in Northern California in the 10 second class. 
First place. Congratulations. Thank you so much. What is it do you think that gives this boat capabilities above the others? It's my knowledge in tuning it yeah. and the way I've got it riding. Mm -hmm. So how do you have it riding? I've got it riding, trying to kiss the sky. <laughs> I was going to say, as soon as I asked you, I'm like, you know what? He's probably not going to want to on television tell his competitors how he has tuned it to perfection. No. You know, in drag boat racing, it's a wonderful community. Yeah. People are so helpful. And um, it's fellow racers that help get where I am now. Do you ever get bored? Never get bored. <laughs> Never a dull moment on that craft. Yeah. So, Bill, when it comes to a drag boat like this, what's more important? Is it torque or horsepower? It's matching a combination of them both with the propeller. Okay, so this one in particular, what sort of stats do we have? We have 703 horsepower and really close to that in torque. Oh my god, so zero to 60, I mean, how fast? We can get from zero to 60 in about three and a half seconds. That's insane. But that's not the top speed you've got, right? No, we've on the lake we've got 106 miles an hour. On a track in a controlled environment in less than 10 seconds, we've gotten 103.5 miles an hour in a race. Oh my God. So I know this is your baby. You've had it for a few years now. What, what do you love about it? What makes it different from any other drag boat you've uh, ever owned? Well, this placecraft is one of only three made and it's, it's a tunnel haul and it's just so light and so fast and so fun. Actually, it reminds me, what's its fin number? Zero, 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 00001. <laughs> so I think that goes to show uh, how unique it is. Certainly does. Okay. Well, I'm still uh, catching my breath <laughs> from the fun that we had. So, I mean, the sun's gone down now. I think uh, there's no more fun to be had on the lake. So, what do you say if we have a drink and continue swapping stories? Let's do it like a couple of pirates should. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> After the break, we grab some beers and hot dogs and head out on this legendary hot tub pontoon to see what all the fuss is about. Then it's time to hit the skies in a fierce battle of drone racing.